Hey everyone, it is Sparkle and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to hang up these curtain panels that I bought a few years ago from TJ Maxx. And it's just one problem. Uh, the length on them are too short for my liking. They are 84 inches in length and I need them to be around 95, 96. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to add some fabric from an extra set of curtain panels that I have. They're the same curtain panels, but I'm just going to use one pair to add to the other panels to make them longer. And I'm not going to be sewing them, so I'm going to use some fabric glue. That's why I'm laying out this paper because I don't want to get any on my table. Um, if you don't have a sewing machine, just like I don't have a sewing machine, then this is an option that you can do. And it's really quick and easy. So I have this curtain panel. Um, I think the length on this is 95 or 96. So what I did, I'm just gonna use this as my guide to uh, make sure that I'm cutting the fabric to the length that I want it to be. I'm just trying to measure it that way. You don't have to do it the way I'm doing it, but this is just the way I'm doing it because I don't have all the um, tools to do it the proper way, but this is easy for me. I've done this before and it works just fine. So here you can see where the curtain panel stop at. So I have this leveler that I use to hang pictures and I'm measuring it with that. So that way I could see how much fabric that I need to cut off. So now I'm just gonna put a little slit on the side so that way I know where I can start cutting. Now I'm going to take a piece of chalk and run it across the curtain panel so that way it'll let me know where I can cut across. So it's just in the same place as the slit I'm just running it across the curtain panel. Now I'm cutting across the line that I made. And these scissors are really dull, so I do need to purchase some more extra pieces um, that I'm using to attach to the curtain panels, um, I'm using the top and the bottom of each panel. I only need four in total, so I'm cutting the bottom of the panel because that's already sewn and it's hemmed and it's, you know, that's already ready. And then I'm going to use the top of the curtain panel and that's what I'm going to use to attach to the panels I'll be hanging up.
Now it's time to attach the pieces to the curtain panel. And this is one panel that I'll be using. So I flipped it on the opposite side. That way I won't get any glue on, you know, the outer part. And the glue I'll be using is clear. Um, it's a really good fabric glue. So you won't be able to see the glue if it seeps through the curtains. You won't be able to see it at all. I'm using something heavy to sit on top of the curtain panels so that way they won't move. This is the glue that I'll be using. This is Gorilla Fabric Glue that I purchased from Michaels. It was $8.50, somewhere around there. I have two popsicle sticks that I'll be using to help smooth out the curtains and smooth across the glue. I made sure not to put the glue on the sheer part, but only on the velvet part. And then I'm taking the stick and just pressing down on the curtain with that. I'm doing little at a time. Here's a closer look if you can see how I'm doing it. Now the part that I cut is the part that you want to uh, glue to the curtain panel. That's the part that you're supposed to glue. This glue is fast drying, so I am going to take the leveler and just press down on the panels 
just to make sure that it's sticking together well, but it is fast drying. Okay, so here is the overall look of the curtain panels. I like them. And here's how it looks over here. So they look really good. Um, one thing that I am going to say, I think one set of the curtain panels were defected just a little bit. They were kind of uneven as far as the width, just a little bit. But so this is it. So I'm loving the blue panels. Um, I still have to do you know some work in the dining room but this is what it's going to be for now until you know i finish getting everything um this uh stand y'all know i store some things in there but i really want to take this out of here and get another uh i want to get a cabinet you know so that's what I'm working on. I'm definitely going to get a cabinet and I'll end up throwing this out. And y'all know I have a lamp in here, which, you know, I only have that in here because I don't like the um, light fixture lamp thing on. I don't like that. So I just put this over here, but that will be coming out also. So this is it. And also, um, I think I showed y'all the curtains in the living room. I hung those up, what, probably about like two, three days ago. So they look really good as well. Um, let me bring y'all in. Okay. Yeah, so I had already hung those up. And I do have some more uh, fabric left. On the curtain so um i'll probably i don't know i'm thinking i may um make i don't know maybe some pillows i can make some pillows out of that that's what i'm thinking i may do but i'm not going to throw it away i'm going to put it to use so i'll probably uh, make some pillows and being that you know they're sheer right so what i would do is put some fabric behind it and do it like that so i'll do a video on it when i do it but what i need to do i need to get me another sewing machine because i don't have one at this time so i need to purchase another one i haven't had one in a long time so I'm definitely going to do that and, you know, I'll do a video when I, you know, I'll probably make some pillow covers. I don't know. Pillow covers. That's what I'm thinking. So I'll do a video on that. But all right. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.